Today I'm in beautiful Mavagissi on the south coast of Cornwall, visiting Charlie and Abby Clayton, some of our home mission supported pioneers. So let's go and have a chat with them and find out a little bit about what God is doing here in this place. Hi, I'm Charlie and this is Abby and we live in Mevigisi in Cornwall. Uh, we're missional listeners and we are home mission partners with the South West Baptist Association. Uh, we have three young boys and we have been here in Mevigisi about three years. Um, the purpose of us moving down to Mevigisi, we felt called by God obviously to move here. Um, but it here to pray, to listen and explore spirituality in coastal regions, in rural regions, and also in a post-Christian post culture, what does church look like? What does spirituality look like? In communities across the country that don't engage with church anymore, what is church going to look like and adapt to in order to meet the needs of our communities? And so we're really on a journey of exploring, listening, praying, hearing, and, uh, and seeing how God plays out really in the, in the community. So everything that we do has come off the back of praying. Um, when we came here, really the only thing we felt clear about was that God was asking us to pray and listen, and so that's what we've tried to do. Um, but what's emerged has been a kind of rhythm through the week. So we prayer walk every week. We have a Bible study with um, a lady who's recently come to faith every week, and we have a fortnightly prayer gathering for local Christians who just want to come and seek the Lord and pray and gather together. And the beauty of that is that that is ecumenical, that's Christians coming from um, three different churches locally um, coming together to pray, which is just, just brilliant. Um, Charlie has developed some youth work for primary and secondary ages. Um, and really a lot of our time is spent just with people. Um, I think really the task of mission more and more is just to genuinely be a Christian in a very accessible way. Um, so to be a, a Christian someone that takes the form of the Christian faith but does so in a way that people can see and look at and and get a kind of understanding of what what does the gospel mean and what does it really look like to follow Jesus it's taking the gospel out of the out from behind the walls of the church and making it an open and accessible um thing for people to engage with so a lot of our time is is kept being available really available for coffees for walks I'm just trying to be um salt and light in our community. And also looking for the invitations as well. It's holding our nerve. There's obvious things in any community. You could say, oh, we could do that. We could start that. We could help with that. But actually waiting for the invitation for God to say, this is what I want you to do. Or even from the community to say, we have seen you. Would you please come and do X or whatever it is? It's, it's been really difficult to do that, uh, especially as activists, as people that like to do things. Um, but just in the real fruit of that, um, in a way that means that we are not rushing around trying to do a million things in order to sustain something we created, but we are walking into something that God has prepared, that we are prayed into, and that we have the space and time to do. So it's been really intriguing, and it's the beginning of a journey that many people across the country and in other places across the world are doing in order to explore how spirituality is going to play out how our faith is going to play out as churches change, demographics change, denominations change. What does it look like to be people of faith in our community in the future? A big part of my work is also studying a PhD and I'm looking at the theme of beauty and mission and really looking at how um, mission can engage with um, the context that we're in, um, in a way that not only looks to the truth and the goodness of the gospel, but also the beauty of Jesus and the kind of attraction and the, uh, the draw of of the gospel um so i'm about two years into that and and that is uh it's brilliant to be one foot in um practice and one foot in theory and finding that the two are weaving in in and out of each other um, it's a real place of resourcing for us personally and hopefully further afield so a few prayer requests really um one would just be that um the holy spirit would continue to breathe and work in our community we are seeing God work in people's lives and it's so encouraging and we just want to see more of that. Um, a second thing really would be just for continued unity amongst believers and that there'd be a real desire and hunger increasingly to pray and to be engaging missionally with our community. Yeah, pray for us, continue to hold our nerve, that we would really listen to what God's wanting us to do and that what we're wanting to do. And I think the next five, ten years for us in this community 
uh, local church demographic will will reduce drastically uh, and just the real question of navigating that as believers there will be the real question is what does Christ, what does a church look like in a community with no church so as we partner together for the gospel please do pray for the things that you've heard Charlie and Abby speak of today and if you get an opportunity please come and visit this beautiful part of the world Charlie and Abby would be only too happy to show you around and you could see for yourself some of the things that God is doing here. And thank you for supporting Home Mission financially as well, as churches and as individuals. And if you'd like to do so, then there'll be some details at the end of this video so that you can give either as a one-off or regularly to support God's work across the Southwest through the Southwest Baptist Association and the Home Mission Fund. Let's pray to see God's kingdom come and his will done here in this place, in your place, across the southwest and across this world, as it is in heaven. Thank you.